Hi guys, it's Sarah. Today I want to chat with you a bit, uh, tell you who I am and what I do and just where I come from. So just grab your tea or coffee and we're gonna chat a bit. Okay, so my name is Sarah Galitz and I'm 27 and right now I live in Germany in Bavaria, which is in the south of Germany. I'm now a professional musician for five years. I grew up in Portugal, so I actually consider myself Portuguese. So as a kid, I always drew, I always would go to my room and draw cartoons or paintings and I would actually sell them to friends and I was very serious about that. I also made a lot of music. I played keyboards and the guitar and I sang. The interesting part though is that as a kid everybody would tell me oh you're gonna be an artist and I didn't want that because in my head as a kid I thought well, artists are lazy and they don't really do anything. I actually wanted to be a scientist. Um, I wanted to do astrophysics or be a deep sea researcher. But that didn't uh, work well because I kind of suck at maths. So that didn't work out. But as a kid, I didn't want to be an artist. I would actually be very offended. Little Sarah telling you, no, I don't want to be an artist. Artists suck. Then at some point I was a teenager and I thought, well, being an artist wouldn't be so bad and uh, I kind of love drawing and painting and making music, so maybe I should pursue being a, an artist. So at age 15 I moved out from my parents' home because I wanted to pursue that career and I moved to Lisbon. It was almost a straight-A student and I wanted to study at the Faculty of Fine Arts in Lisbon. And I did that, I got in, and I studied Desenho, which is drawing translated, but it's a lot more than just drawing, it was also sculpture and things like that. The problem was that I was 20 and I had my rent to pay and bills to pay, so I had to work full-time. I worked at Sony, before that I also worked at uh, different places, but those were just little jobs. But the Sony job was really nice, I learned a lot about technology. So I always got late to the courses and I couldn't really properly study at this university, so I thought, well, in Germany they have student loans. And I thought, well, maybe I could just move to Germany and not work full time and just finally do what I want. <laughs> and that's what I did. Uh, seven years ago, I moved to Germany. I studied art history and philosophy. And then at some point I was making music and I met Michael Ausebauer. And he told me, Sarah, you have to be a professional musician. I actually had a lot of fun studying philosophy. It was so good. I really liked it. Uh, for all of you, if you don't know what to do and you are a critical thinker and you like to read a lot, you should study philosophy. It's a lot of fun. I started to work with Michael Ausubauer. We created the band Tenor Steps and we were fairly successful. And uh, we did jazz and blues and people really liked us and we were a nice band. In the meantime, I also played with um, amazing musicians like Elle Jones or Donya Oxford. I got to play with really great and talented musicians who are also professionals. And at some point in January, I decided to leave the band Tenor Step. So right now I'm stepping away from jazz and doing more of R&B, hip-hop and electronic music. And that's where I'm at right now. My biggest influences are of course Michael Elsebauer, Farrah Sanders. His music is amazing, it's so spiritual and I just love it. Obviously B.B. King, Herbie Hancock, John Clemmer. If you don't know him you should look him up because he's amazing. Sonny Rollins and Billie Holiday. My latest influences are Anderson Park, the internet, and I also listen to a lot of Mac Miller. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. I didn't really finish my coffee. I really hope you stick around. Maybe you give this a thumbs up or even subscribe so you can see more of what I do. Next Monday I'm gonna upload 
my studio experience with Michael Ausebauer. He's recording an album right now and he asked me to record with him. So I'm gonna be there Friday and the vlog is going to be up next Monday. So see you then and have a great week. Bye.